Uh, for Mr. Negron first, just two hours ago, U.S. officials said that Russian hackers targeted state and local governments ahead of the election, stealing data from two servers. Earlier this week, the U.S. charged six Russian military officers for their alleged involvement in hacking aimed at American businesses, French elections, and the Winter Olympics. It appears that Russia continues a campaign of using the cyber world to disrupt and infiltrate the U.S. and its interests. When and how should the U.S. fight back using its cyber capabilities? Well, absolutely, John. As you know, about four years ago, the military set up a U.S. Cyber Command um, for that purpose uh, specifically. And so, you know, this is now the new battlefield. Um, you know, the traditional symmetric warfare, you line up on, uh, on either side of a line and you go after each other, is now morphing into this thing now where we have this cyber warfare. And there are smart people out there. We need to be able to bring some of those young kids that we have up in our schools to help try to defeat those things. Look, those guys know that when they have anything connected to the Internet, and I've always said this, that just because you have technology doesn't mean we're any better off. Um, and this is an example of that. I love um, our great state of New Hampshire that I circle in a bubble and I put it through an optical reader that's not connected to anything, and that's how I cast my ballot. So absolutely, I think the government needs to put some more emphasis on how we do both defensive and offensive cyber warfare and to make sure that all those countries that we know through intelligence gathering means that they're uh, starting to do some things and we should go and make sure that they, we prevent them and then prosecute them to the fullest extent of the law. Thank you. And Congresswoman, same question. Well, what's interesting about that answer is that Republicans have repeatedly voted against the funding that would need to harden our defenses on uh, our election system. I have voted for both the SHIELD Act and the SAFE Act and H.R. 1. Uh, the SAFE Act will give funding to our local municipalities to protect our voting records, your voting records. Uh, that's what we're refer referring to here that um, voter registration records were hacked by foreign governments, and the SHIELD Act would prohibit uh, campaigns from reaching out or from cooperating in any way with that type of foreign interference, and that, that they would be um, required to notify uh, the FBI about any kind of interference. And I think what we're seeing here is a repeat from 2016 uh, with the interference from the Trump administration um, I think what people in New Hampshire need to know is you can vote safely and you can vote now at your town clerk, and that's probably the best thing to that's do time. at this point.